Hello mortals, wait we're actually making a video that's actually focused about kicking, it's about time, for once the title actually matches the video. Reverse side kick. With your leading leg, you'll step towards the inside. Without moving your feet you'll turn and look over your shoulder, continuing the movement towards the inside. Look at your target before kicking and side kick as taught in this video here. A common mistake is over rotating, this simply happens because of lack of control and is expected from newbies. Another mistake is not looking where you're kicking, how do you expect to land a kick if you can't even see it? Fixing this can also help with the over rotation. In other words, perfect rotation as someone would say. Hook kick. Think of this as a side kick that misses, you're not aiming directly at the target instead off to the side. The goal of the hook kick is to either break guard or get behind it. With your leading leg, start at a side kick chamber but when you kick, purposely miss your target and kick towards the side of it. From there pull your leg back into a round kick chamber then recoil it back into the side kick chamber. Remember almost every kick has three parts, chamber, kick, and recoil. A simple mistake is not pulling the side kick into a round kick chamber, remember to pull your leg back. If you need to, try and kick your butt to help you get into the round kick chamber. Tornado kicks. There are three variations to the tornado kick. Tornado front, tornado round, and tornado crescent. While it would be funny to watch you fumble a few times, tornado kicks are one of those where injury can happen very easily. So please take your time and do not rush this. There are 5 steps to a tornado kick, step through, turn look, uppy, switchy, and kicky. Start by stepping your back leg through, this is to help build the momentum. Next look over your shoulder but try to keep your feet relatively still. The leg that's in front will be your uppy. This is the leg that will help you get your lift for the tornado kick. Next switchy. Since we're going step by step you'll jump from here to do the switch. Simply hop onto the other leg. Remember when attempting to do the tornado you'll jump at the uppy. And switch legs near the apex of your jump. The switch should be the chamber of what kick you want to use. And lastly kicky. Kick at the apex of your jump, and land the leg you kicked with in front of you. For some style points, after the kick, step through to add a little spin. It's important you do this slowly but continuously, and as you get more comfortable with the motion, try to slowly build up speed. A common mistake is actually falling or moving backwards. This happens because you're not spotting your target. Always look before kicking. Jump kicks. Just like the tornado kick, there are variations to these but the difference here is that there's a lot more. Before we show you how to do them, which panda jumps higher? Trick answer, they both jump at the same height however the one on the left jumped with lifting their knees. Take a look one more time, they both jump at the same height however, simply lifting the knees gives the illusion of jumping hot. Panda is serving that n word pass they got well. When you do perform any jump kicks, you need to bring your knees up too. This is where your chamber will come from. Start by bending your knees and sweep your arms in like panda. For the jumping motion lift off from the balls of your feet, in other words your toes. Before you do start jumping, do not land flat foot. Instead land on the balls of your feet, followed by your heels, and lastly bending your knees. You know you done this right when your landing is a lot more quieter. Once you are ready start jumping and try, to the best of your abilities, to jump with your knees up. Do this a couple of times and then start adding the kick. A common mistake is forgetting to lift the other leg. This is simply fixed by ensuring you are lifting both knees up. Crescent kick. Kind of like the hook kick, you'll kick off to the side again using a front kick chamber. However this is the very few kicks where you do not recoil instead it just lands behind you. This kick is incredibly easy but requires decent amount of flexibility to do right, as its intended purpose is this. Ow. You are hitting with the side of your foot, 
almost like you are backhand slapping but with your foot, remember to land a foot behind you. Panda, how? Not. A common mistake is not making the leg straight, this mainly happens because of flexibility. I don't really know what to say but get good. Axe kick. Axe kick is another kick with no recoil. Start the same way as you would for crescent by kicking off to the side with the front kick. Swing your foot like you would with the crescent but right before it passes your nose, you'll drop the kick in front of you with as much force as you can. Remember to point your toes and hit with the sole of your foot, while you can use your heel. It's not recommended as you can accidentally hit with your Achilles. So hit with the sole of your foot, remember to aim for either the head or shoulders as this kick is more of a finisher. As always remember to protect the baby when doing these kicks.